Hey, it's Earth Castle. It's been a while since I've done a map vlog, so this one's going to be pretty long. Last time I made a secret tunnel that leads from the new office building to the underground. Since then, I've changed it quite a bit. I changed the entrance of the tunnel to look more natural, like it was blown up or dug away. I also removed collisions on the pile of rubble below it, and made an invisible ramp so it can get up much more smoothly. This is very important for gameplay and immersion, as getting snagged on a wall could get you killed or break the immersion for you. I also added some rusted support beams inside the tunnel, since the walls were looking a bit bland and there weren't many interesting colours. The support beams are also inside of the rocks, which makes it look like they've been there for years. Next, I'll go over the new bridge. The new bridge is around the middle of the surface. It goes from one end of the map to the other, and it kind of acts as a natural barrier to stop players from going too far, whilst also having a use. Underneath the bridge, you'll find the skate ramp, and the stairs leading to the bridge. The skate ramp is pretty basic, with it just being an upside down archway, but it's still a cool addition nonetheless. I also added an abandoned train car on the side to stop players from going beyond the bridge. Going up the stairs takes you to the top of the bridge, which turns out to actually be a bridge for a train. On the side of the rails is a very small train station and a shop. The train station has a nice bench, a clock to tell you when your train's coming, and a telephone. I do realise that the train on this track isn't actually a passenger train, but it's still cool to have a train station. To the left is the shop, which has a single long shelf, a small counter, and a couple of expired things on it. I also added this back room, which was originally intended to be a way to get to the second floor, but I ended up scrapping it because it was too complicated to get the stairs in such a small area. Out through this door takes you to a nice balcony with a couch where you can look out onto the snowy landscape. I kind of made it as just a chill area with no real function or purpose. Aside from the stuff on the bridge, why don't we look at the train itself? The train doesn't function or anything, but instead acts as a natural barrier to stop players from walking down the tracks. To do this, I stacked some boxes on either side and made an invisible wall out of the player clip texture. There is also a fence around the bridge so players can't jump to the other side, and a train tunnel with a black wall at the very end, on the other side of the tracks. Aside from that, I also finally added a 3D skybox. It's very basic and small, but still sells the effect well enough. I added fog too, since without it, it looks way worse, and it makes it feel more snowy. Along with this, I made the skybox to match the colour of the fog, I also added some small details, those being this tower here, these rocks, two large tanks behind the two houses, a big water tower over here, this move to train car, two buildings towards the edge of the map, and I made this wall go all the way to the watchtower. And that's it for this episode, there will be a lot to cover in the next. If you liked this video, check out my other hammer related content, and that's all for now. See ya!